Hello guys, welcome to our day two trip of the Outback and today we are at a very nice cafe called Extra Cafe. Uh, we have got a lot of views from different people and local people in uh, the Broken Hill saying this cafe is going to be worth visiting the food. Uh, today we have on the menu we ordered some pancakes and also some uh, brick breakfast so that's going to be quite heavy because we are heading to Silverton. It's the most Outback city in the remote area. We're gonna visit the Mad Max 2 museum uh, from the movie Mad Max and also Mission Impossible movie. After that, um, we're gonna go to the Living Sculptures Desert. Uh, over there, me and my wife will open a bottle of wine, sparkling wine, and sit on the chairs, watch the sculptures, and also do some stargazing in the night. Um, hopefully, your days will be really good. Day two so in much. the outback, and we just ordered some breakfast. Heading towards Silverton today, and we're gonna explore the sculptures and let's see how the day unfolds. But I'm looking forward to it. And I'm so I ordered some scrambled eggs with the sourdough bread. It tastes really good. Yes. out MacArthur Crystal Shop in Broken Hill. Hello everyone, so today is day 2 of our Broken Hill um, Broken Hill visit, it's the Outback and we are going to explore uh, some crystals. So this is called the MacArthur uh, Crystal Shop, so I will show you around. There are a lot of good things to uh, see in this shop, so come along. I'll this shop has small geodes, lots of mineral specimens, tumble stones, gems, metaphysical stones and jewellery. This is a great little store for gifts and souvenirs on the main street, so do check it out. Next, we are checking out Silver City Mint in Broken Hill. We are heading towards the Silver City Art Center. So, visiting this place. This place looks lovely. This place looks so nice. Now we are heading towards Silverton Hotel and on the way we explored some dirt tracks and enjoyed some four-wheel driving. The iconic Silverton Hotel is undoubtedly the heart and soul of the town as well as one of the most filmed and photographed hotels in the country. This award-winning hotel offers a real outback experience complemented with great pub ice cold drinks, accommodation and much more. If you are in the region, do experience this iconic outback experience which is not to be missed. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm just having a special drink here from um, Outback. What is it called? Uh, outback Lava. Okay. Just this iconic Silverton Hotel has welcomed visitors and locals for over 136 years, seeing over 120,000 visitors per year, serving great outback hospitality. The real outback adventure starts here. Have cold beer on the tap, sensational food, enjoy world-class hospitality and have a laugh with the locals and enjoy the sights. This place is so wonderful. It's truly a award-winning place. After visiting Silverton, we came back to Broken Hill and we had some takeaway snacks from Foodland. 
Next, as we are heading towards living sculptures, it's always good to carry some snacks as there are no shops near the living sculptures. And we decided to enjoy our evening watching the beautiful sunset and having some snacks over there. the living desert sculptures it's a beautiful iconic place to visit while you're there and the gates open at 6 a.m and close at 9 p.m so it's good to be back by 9 p.m as there are rangers on duty so make sure that you purchase a valid ticket we bought the family pass for approximately 22 dollars Today we are uh, we are seeing the living sculptures. It's near Broken Hill. So come with me. I will show you the authentic experience of the outback Australia. Painters, writers, musicians, photographers, and filmmakers have all produced works inspired by the rugged beauty of this beautiful place, attempting to capture the essence of this truly unique place. There is a rich history behind these engravings and these engravings, paintings and stencils tell the story of the ancient rituals of the Penticali people. It's a great place for the family day out in the Living Desert State Park. This place is only 12 kilometers from Broken Hill and you can experience one of regional Australia's most spectacular must-see attraction. So these are the living sculptures, very beautifully handcrafted. So come through. Each sculpture has got the history of its own. Oh, the sculpture looks. This is like beautifully handcrafted. And look at the moon goddess. It's just representing that. So nice history around. And as the sun goes down, it feels like the entire sculptures they are going to um, become golden with the with the colors of the sky. So look at the beautiful vastness of this area and uh, we have paid $22 for the family pass um, just to visit this and it looks like this is worth it. So there are a lot of cliffs you have to be very careful of. So this is a beautiful sculpture again as you can see. So each sculpture has got a story of its own. Each sculpture has got the uh, view of its own and you know the beautiful handcrafted things. There are a lot of ants though so you have to be careful with this thing. Now this what, what is what what is your interpretation of this? this yeah. Means the moon. This means yeah, these are all handcrafted. So a lot of work has actually gone into it in making those yep. sculptures. Now come so over here. So this sculpture is like very beautifully handcrafted sculpture and I like the way this has come up. But I think it looks like it's one of the longest in uh, sculpture over here. Yes, yeah, so Raja, what is your view of these sculptures? Yeah, sculptures are good. They are like they will turn into golden and they will uh, considerable golden. Yeah, I think they are looking very pretty uh, and especially you know the handcrafted sculptures. It's worth a visit. There are a lot of ants though and um, the best time to visit here is towards the sunset. So we are just waiting for the sunset so that these sculptures, we have heard they become golden. And it's a beautiful scenery around, a bit cliffy area and um, where they are handcrafted. So very uh, good work i think um, it's worth a visit so we paid around 22 dollars um, for the entry but uh, once you do the entry there are like there's a picnic place and um, there is um, you know you can access these sculptures and also there is one um, trail so we would be actually going for the trail after we finish with this and i think the pass is valid for 24 hours so worth a visit really good what is your interpretation guys did you like the sculptures I think they Mm. They've got a nice history around them, you know, and you can also use your imagination for doing a lot of interpretation around, right?
Towards the end of the day, we enjoyed the gorgeous views of the sunset. The entire sky was filled with a bright orange light and it was a lovely view to watch the sun setting over the horizon. Such a marvelous view. By the time it was quite late when we returned back from our visit from the sculptures and the only place that was open for the dinner so late was the Palace Hotel in Broken Hill. Palace Hotel is the heritage listed pub in Broken Hill. This hotel is famous for its eclectic style and the colorful history. I love the food and I can't recommend it enough. We absolutely loved it and this is Australiana at its very best. And lastly, if you're looking for the food 24 by 7, this is the drive through option. Very interesting place. This is called OTR in Broken Hill. This place is the food joint as well as the petrol station. So if you're after the coffee or some takeaway hot food items, this is open 24 by 7. Very interesting concept and I loved visiting OTR. We hope you're enjoying the Outback series. If you have got any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Please subscribe and support us by subscribing, liking and commenting. We would love to hear your comments. We will see you again in episode 3. Till the time, stay healthy, happy and keep smiling.